It is a good morning this morning. I am Ashley from Winging It With Ash. Welcome to my channel. Today I am leaving Paris and going to start my brand new life. things are happening and I thought maybe I'd take a moment to kind of refresh everyone. Um, I went to the UK for about six months. After that six months my visa had run out and I needed to figure out what was next. Um, my intention was to stay in the UK and that did not happen. <laughs> so I came here to Paris. My friend Laura lives here as an expat and she's amazing. She's been incredibly encouraging and the best person to spend this time with. I use this time to pray, to look into different options, to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing next. And I'm fairly confident that I figured out probably the best plan I could have came up with. And that is where I'm going today. Okay, while I'm waiting for my Uber, I'll fill you in a bit. Like, where am I going? I'm headed to Barcelona. I have a train ticket to take me directly there. But yeah, I have a six hours, seven hours, close to seven hours train ride direct from Paris all the way to Barcelona. Pause, pause, stop the video, stop the video. I need to explain a little bit more. I realize uh, in this moment it, with everything going on, I did a horrible job explaining what's going on. <laughs> So let me explain. Yes, I am taking a train to Barcelona. The reason being is I have signed up to do a five month long intensive language learning course in Barcelona, Spain. Learning Spanish has been something that I have always been interested in and always wanted to do, but it just never seemed possible or I didn't have the time or I, I all the excuses you could think of. But I'm gonna take this opportunity. I've weighed all my options. I've gone through, I've applied for a ton of jobs. I've thought about going back to my hometown to be closer to my family. I've thought of everything, but this, this is the one thing that gets me excited, that I have peace about. It's, it's the one thing that always seemed impossible, but in this moment, it is possible. I'm going to be challenged and I have a lot of reservations. I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. This brings me to you. I want to challenge you to learn another language and a way you can do that is through Lingoda, which is the sponsor of the today's video. Amazing. <laughs> Lingoda is one of Europe's largest online language schools. They offer four different languages. You can learn Spanish, like me, along with me, <laughs> French, German, or if you wanna learn English, that's great as well. Lingoda makes it very easy to sign up for classes. There are classes available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Each class has no more than five students in it and a teacher who speaks the language that you are wanting to learn earlier this week to prepare learning Spanish and for a little bit of a refresher, I took some Lingoda classes. Today is my very first Lingoda class. I actually booked the class yesterday. They make it super easy on their website to book classes that are in my specific level and give me many options of different classes that I could take. I specifically chose one that's very practical and good for me to learn, which is grocery shopping in Spanish. It was so fun. Because 
being in a classroom on Zoom with students from all around the world. So not only am I learning Spanish, but I also am making friends in different countries. Okay, so now listen very carefully. This is literally the best part of Lingoda. They are doing a sprint challenge. So the Lingoda Sprint Challenge is an um, intense language challenge where if you sign up for 15 classes within one month and do that for two months, you get 50% of all the money you spent on it back. Or you can sign up for 30 classes in a month, which is a class a day pretty much, and then you do that for two months and you get 100% of your money back. So cool. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone doing that where you are not only challenging yourself, but you get the benefit of getting your money back because you did a good job and because you learned the language. Because benefit after benefit after benefit. I think it's so cool. I wish that my language school did the same thing that I'm attending here because um, I would definitely like to get my money back and I'm spending four hours a day, five days a week. <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> I'm doing the long, wrong course. <laughs> Along with that, I have a discount code down below where you can get 20 euro to 25 USD off when you sign up using my link. I am so excited for this challenge. Not only Lingoda working with me and encouraging you all to learn a language, but also for myself to learn Spanish and to challenge myself, it is not gonna be easy. And I know that, but I'm willing to put in the work. And I think that maybe some of you have always wanted to learn a language and this is your opportunity. So definitely, if you are interested in doing the Lingoda Sprint, check my link below. If you're interested in just some classes to see what it's like, you can also use my sign up link below as well. Okay. So now that I explained everything, I think we should get back to my travel day to Barcelona. To the train station and plenty of time to get a coffee and my last Parisian pastry. The pastries here in Paris are amazing. Oh frick, I think I already squashed it. Almond and cases, which cases I learned is the same thing as some other berry. <laughs> what is cases? I don't remember. <laughs> it's not a huckleberry, something similar. Mm, but it smells so good and I have a coffee um, except that I need to eat these things and drink my coffee that's really hot before I get on my train because I cannot shuffle my bags and my coffee at the same time. It's impossible. <laughs> okay, I'm in the gate and my seat is on the coach 17 so I'm gonna have to walk a long way. My coffee is precariously in my bag because I did not have time to drink it all, but I'm ready to put this bag down, enjoy my coffee, and just be on the train for a long period of time. Lifting bags into the little luggage compartment is not for the big part. I am sweating. Thankfully, some nice man helped me out. <laughs> my bags were too heavy to lift. Seven hours. Hopefully, get some really, really good views along the way. I'm hoping. And currently, I have my own seat. Let's see. This is actually a high-speed train. I had no idea. So I'm gonna learn, try to learn a little bit about it. So 
I'm coming to the bathroom because I need to use the restroom. Right, I wanted to show it to you and explain that I am on a high speed train. I looked it up in this train, it goes over 300 kilometers per hour, which is almost 200 miles per hour. That is so fast and it's so smooth. I also learned that there are over 50 routes on this high speed train um, throughout France and other countries within Europe. So it makes it super easy to get from one place to the other and super fast as well. Okay, so this is not a great bathroom review, <laughs> but there is a massive mirror in here, a sink that is gross, dirty. Another mirror and a toilet and a button that you have to press when you're done with the toilet. A tiny, teeny, tiny little bathroom. It's got everything you need. The reason why this sink is gross is because there's no water running out of it. So I've got soap with no water to wash my hands. I think I have to go down to the other bathroom and try to figure this out. <laughs> Okay, so I've made it to Barcelona. Now, in this video, I had a lot more footage of what I had done um, moving through. I don't know what happened to it. And in all honesty, I'm trying to juggle a lot of things and um, somehow I lost a bunch of footage. So to catch you up, I arrived here in Barcelona and my room, my apartment was not ready for me. So I had to stay two nights in a hostel. I say had to, but the hostel was actually really nice. One of the hardest parts of learning how to travel solo is that it's so easy for me to have like a focus or like I need to get here, do this, do that, and then like, but I find once I'm there, I, I question like, now what? Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and so that the first evening that I was here in Barcelona, I decided to go take a walk around town. It just so happened to be Corpus Christi, um, where there is a procession through the streets to the church in town. I had no idea what it was when I stumbled upon it, but it was an amazing stumble upon and something that was so cultural and just truly like put me at ease, where it reminded me exactly why I wanted to come to Barcelona. And that's it. That brings us to my next video where I move into my Barcelona apartment. Huh. I had so many reservations before coming here, but they all melted away within the first day. And I am so grateful for that because this is going to be an adventure of a lifetime. And I am so, so looking forward to sharing it all with you. If you're interested in learning a language, definitely check out the link down below. I highly recommend the Lingoda Sprint where you can earn your money back by learning a language and going to the classes you signed up for. How easy does that sound? <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. In my next one, we will be checking in or getting into my Barcelona apartment, which yeah, is another big step for me. So thanks so much for being a part of my adventures and I will see you in the next one.
Hold on, hold on, hold on. One more thing. <laughs> Next weekend, I'm going to do a live stream for all my patrons. So if you're interested in being a Patreon, definitely look for the link down below um, so we can chat next weekend. All right, that's it. That's all. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Adios.